Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn about the computer software and its classification. Software is a set of instructions or programs which help the user to interact with the computer hardware. It is non-tangible and cannot be felt or touched. Now let's take a real life example of a washing machine that how the software is working in the washing machine. You have to choose wash option, then the software of the system will ask the user to enter the wash time, amount of water and the load. With the help of this software, you can spin, drain, rinse and wash. It will allow the user to interact with the hardware such as washing machine. Similarly, when you start up the computer and the very first thing that you see on the screen is the software. Computer hardware and software both work collectively to produce meaningful results. Computer software is classified into two broad categories, application software and system software. Let's begin with the application software. The software that is designed to fulfill any specific need of a user is termed as application software. It further is categorized into other categories like the word processing software, database software, spreadsheet software, presentation software and multimedia software. We will begin learning with the word processing software. The main purpose of this software is to produce documents, report writing, etc. MS Word, WordPad, Notepad and similar other text editors are examples of word processing software. Coming to the next, that is the database software. Database software is a collection of related data. The purpose is to organize, manage and edit data. MS Access. DBase and Oracle are some of the examples. Spreadsheet software, on the other hand, is used to maintain budget, financial statements and sales records. It allows the users to perform simple to complex calculations on the numbers entered in the rows and columns. MS Excel is one of the best examples of a spreadsheet software. Presentation software is used to display the information in the form of a slideshow. MS PowerPoint is a type of presentation software. The last in this category is the multimedia software. The multimedia software allows the user to create audios and videos. Also, these are used to listen to songs, etc. Media players and real players come under this software classification. WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, OLX, Amazon, Facebook, Flipkart, etc. are some examples of application software. Now let's talk about the system software. This software is used to operate and control the computer. Thereby, it acts as an interface between application programs and the computer. Also, system software comes with various categories like operating system, utility software and translators and so on. Operating system is the most important software program that enables the user to interact with the computer hardware. Without the operating system, the user cannot interact with the computer hardware. There are different kinds of operating systems like Windows OS. For example, Windows 2007, 2008, 2010, etc. MS-DOS means that is Microsoft's Disk Operating System, Mac OS, Android OS, Unix, Linux, and so on. In order to make an operating system workable, it has to be first loaded into the computer using a hardware device known as the hard disk. Further, the system files of OS are loaded from the hard disk into the computer memory to complete the circuitry requirement of the computer system. This process is known as booting. Booting is of two types, cold booting and warm booting. 
in cold booting if the computer is in switched off state then booting the computer is done by pressing the power switch to on state from the cpu box this type of booting is called as cold booting and in warm booting if the computer is already in the switched on state then we can restart it by pressing the reset button from the cpu box or combination of control alt and delete key simultaneously from the keyboard this type of booting is referred to as warm booting now coming to the next type of system software that is the utility software the software that is designed to study control and maintain a computer functions provided by utility programs include managing and searching files viewing images cleaning up and defragmenting of disks securing a computer from unauthorized access protecting against viruses removing spyware and adware filtering internet content compressing files playing media files burning optical disks and maintaining a personal computer a language translator is an important aspect in order to help software work it is used to convert one level language to another level language it further has three parts these are the compiler the interpreter and the assembler where compiler is used to convert machine language to high level language and vice versa it converts the whole program at once whereas interpreter is also used to convert machine language to high level language and vice versa but it converts the program step by step the last is the assembler which converts assembly language to high level language and vice versa so learners in this video we learned about computer software and its classification thank you